Hi everyone, welcome to the Naturalist Workshop and this is the uh, introduction to um, a review of the uh, Unimap 1 classic um, machine tool. Now um, those of you who are regular viewers uh, will know that I was given um, some component parts for one of these when I bought a uh, Unimat um, uh, 4 and, and the gentleman kindly donated the machine to me. Um, and it did. It, it was incomplete, so it, I couldn't really uh, do anything with it. It was just interesting to have a look. Anyway, it sort of sparked my imagination, and then um, uh, I had a safe search on eBay, and this I managed to pick this up from um, uh, a hospital charity uh, sort of organisation, and it was um, uh, well priced. So I thought it was worth having a having a look at. Um, now. I had truly planned to actually make the complete series um, and, and be able to run the videos one after another without having uh, any gaps but due to the delay in uh, my hip operation um, I'm going to make the uh, this introduction now and then we'll go through and um, after, um, after my hot hip op I'll uh, put together um, the complete uh, set of all the functionality and then we're um, we're run them consecutively consecutively you know one week after another so what effectively be there be this introduction in uh, video and then there'll be six as we can see we've got a six in one so we we'll do one video for each of them um, uh, each of the uh, setups so we've got it can be a um, a hand sander, a hand drill, uh, a metal lathe, wood lathe, uh, a saw. This is pretty interesting. I'm quite keen. You're supposed to be able to hold that blade and then not cut you. So I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to do that. Um, that's another sanding configuration. We've got a mill uh, and then... No, we've got a milling here and then drilling there. So... Um, and in here, let's have a look. Let's see if I can open it. We've got quite a few other component parts, um, and I have it set up here as a um, uh, a metal turning lathe. So, um, and it, it's actually amazing how small this uh, cutting tool is. So it's a uh, yeah, really, really, really is tiny. This thing. Um, we can switch, there's no speed control, or not that i found yet, you turn it on, it runs a million miles an hour, so we'll be limited on what we can cut. I think what we'll do is we'll try and do, um, uh, we'll try and work with some wood, with some mild steel, um, and uh, maybe brass, I'm not sure. But yeah, so um, that's where we've got um, to, I've got, um, interesting enough, <clears throat> the these uh, see if we can get a get it in focus. This thing is what is used to join the uh, the parts together, and you effectively let's go down there. Slide slide them in, <clears throat> and then you do up do up the screw on the end, and then that clamps them together. So uh, it's all it's quite it's quite a clever clever setup. So you can see that slides, but if you put it around the other way, it will stop there because on the end we've got that uh, focus is gone. I've been playing with the settings on the camera. Yeah, there you've got the little step on there. So that creates a stop. Um, yeah, so this is where we where we are. So we've got the, the complete kit. Well, I believe it's the complete kit. We've got some additional component parts on the one that was donated to me. Um, got a complete manual here. So we can, uh, I've got something to work from. What I have done is I've got a bit of aluminium and what we're going to do well that's the same size 
So um, it does give instructions. You can you can actually purchase a plate, but I'm going to use this one, um, and it's got some instructions in the book uh, with the dimensions on how you can secure that, because when this is I think when this is running, because you've got such a small footprint, it, it'll be dancing all over the, uh, the workbench. So we're going to do that. Uh, there's also some other um, uh, support things that you can get to, to go up between the two parts, again to make it slightly more rigid, so I'm going to investigate that. So what the, uh, the plan is during... Uh, my confinement at home for six weeks while I'm recovering from a hip hop is that um, I will um, set it up in each of the uh, the six ways we're going to look at, um, and then make sure I've got all the uh, all the component parts. Um, if not, you can. I mean, you can still buy these things, uh, and you can. Uh, there's quite a a big after sale market on on the various components. Um, so I bought a couple of spares here, a spare belt and such like. So as I say, I'm going to go through, set up everything, make sure I've got everything to be able to do with them all. And then I'll, when I return to the workshop, I will then go through, make a video of each, but, but not release any further videos until I've got the whole six set up, um, or six made, and then we can just do a six a six week run of them and then during that six weeks hopefully then I can um, use that time to uh, make uh, six weeks worth of uh, videos on the Congreve clock because I'm keen to move that one forward when uh, when I return so as I say not exactly what I'd planned um, to have the introductory before the um, um, you know before doing the um, the tests on the other pieces, but it's just just unfortunately the way things have worked out. Okay, so that's it. Is there's not much more to say. We 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 go into it a bit more when uh, when we um, start to do the various uh, setups. I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll do the lathe, the metal turning lathe first. We got a dinky little chuck here. Uh, it's an M, actually it's an M6, uh, M12, so it's the same as a Unimat SL. I did have another one of these actually, which I sold. Um, would have been handy to keep now, but too late. Um, so we're, uh, but we got one, so that's all that matters. Um, yeah, so that's really where we are. Um, oh, I've got a full set of collets, so that's quite cool. Um, original screwdriver. This box was pretty much um, pretty much complete and uh, I think that lever here is effectively for one of my favorites to make it like a sensitive drilling machine so uh, so that would be quite interesting to see what we can do there yeah so clearly it's you know is it truly a toy or could you actually use it for something uh, a bit more interesting um, I'm fairly certain it has limitations, but we we'll, uh, we'll have a little investigate and see. Okay, so many thanks for watching. Uh, stay happy, strong and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.